So I'm here with uh, Parveen Abbas, and I hope I pronounced his surname correctly. Uh, he has formed the Pro Punjab League, which is basically arm wrestling, bringing back arm wrestling in a proper official manner in India. Uh, so Parveen, over to you. Tell us exactly how did you, you know, go about starting this whole league, and how did the idea sort of germinate in your mind? Well, thanks, uh, uh, thanks for having me, and uh, thanks for calling it that we're bringing it back because it's not a new sport; it's a reintroduction. Of the sport, जो सब जानते हैं sport के बारे में, you know everybody knows about the sport, everybody knows the basic idea behind it, you know. But the only thing is, uh, uh, we're introducing people to professional arm wrestling. Right. Okay, how is it played professionally? Right. So uh, the idea uh, uh, came to me in about uh, 2016, 17, which is when I started working on it. Uh, uh, and uh, it, when I was younger, also a lot of my cousins, we also used to indulge in it. But uh, I've always been a sports person, and I was always looking at uh, a sport uh, to enter as a promoter. And I had been involved in uh, MMA, and they had quite a few sport sites which I had started in 2016. But I identified Punjab mainly because एक तो इसका Indian नाम है. You know, abroad it's known as arm wrestling. India it's known as Punjab. So everybody knows about it. चाहे रिक्शा वाला हो, चाहे अंबानी हो, everybody knows the sport and the idea. It's very accessible. you know and it's a sport where i felt i could make a difference you know a lot of other sports there are already a lot of people doing things but arm wrestling i felt was a sport where i could make a difference and make a difference to the athletes as well right okay so uh, also one other important aspect about pro punjab league is that i mean and about arm wrestling is there is a non violent sport right i mean apart from mma and so many other things it's a non violent sport and uh, also one sort of a question which came up in my mind there was a very famous silvester stallone movie called over, over the, the top which yeah. was about arm wrestling did it sort of play a yeah. part in you getting this into india see a lot of us when we were younger uh, you know uh, growing up in delhi as well at that period of time when that film came out a lot of us got into the sport and it became big because of that film you know it introduced us to uh, 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 arm wrestling so that is always there you know uh, 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 in our mind and most investors told on a pe topi gumata when he gets serious you know and all those little things so that definitely you know brought us into the world of arm wrestling and and, and stayed with us as a cultural film so that uh, uh, you know definitely was there from the very beginning you can say Have you have you messaged us alone on Instagram to uh, uh-huh. collaborate with you in any way? I think that's a good idea. I I think I'll do that now. I think right. I'll do you that. Can, you can you can give me credit for that later. Moving I on, will. tell us I will. tell us some of the about some of the famous players who are associated with arm wrestling with the Pro Punjab League. Something about the background, etc., which uh, you know most people might not know about. See, uh, what's very interesting about the players and athletes from the Pro Punjab League. First of all, we're an equal opportunity league. हमारे लीग में मेन भी हैं सिक्स वेट कैटेगरीज फॉर मेन थ्री फॉर वेमेन एंड वन फॉर स्पेशली एबल्ड सो दे ऑल गेट इक्वल ट्रीटमेंट डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर रैंकिंग इट्स द ओनली लीग व्हिच इज एन इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी लीग देयर आर पीपल द एथलीट्स हियर आर सन एंड सोइल्स सन एंड डॉटर्स ऑफ द सोइल यू नो इट्स लाइक वी हैव अ फार्मर फ्रॉम हरियाणा कारज वर्क हु इज वन ऑफ आवर यू नो बिग प्लेयर्स we have uh, harman man who works now in a travel agency his family is into furniture we have sanjay deswal who has a small uh, 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 his own furniture business also we have sachin goel who is a student we have chetna sharma who is one of our female champion who is a police police cop who works in uh, guwahati right. and we have josie kolam from the from the north east who works in an office you know we have manish sharma who is a government office uh, officer who is our specially able champion so we have uh, uh, people like saeed um, mahboob ali in uh, uh, telangana who's a gym trainer and also samir vt who also works in a gym in uh, kerala we have uh, rahul panikar who works in dubai also and keeps coming and going in some of the biggest gyms there so uh, our athletes you can say our students uh, they are farmers uh, police people you know gym trainers uh, you know they come from all walks of life they come like i said from their son and daughters of the soil they come from tier 2 tier 3 and beyond towns some of them of course are from delhi which is also tier 2 tier 3 town but <laughs> i come from delhi so i can say that I'll, so i'll i'll leave that to uh, the comment section yeah okay yeah so so like i said i'm from there so i can say that so you know so so it, it's there a lot of them don't come from the big cities 
you know, some of them, but a lot of them are more mainly from the uh, tier two and beyond city. And that is our target audience. You know, that is who we want to uh, speak to. So, so like I said, they're, they're very down to earth guys, but, but they're very strong. You know, they're mentally very strong. They're physically very strong. And it's a very technical game. Logo ko lagta hai ki ye uh, strength ka hai nahi. It's not just strength. It's technical. It's strategy. It's, uh, there's a lot of brain work involved in it. A lot of strategizing. So you have to be a complete player. You know, uh, uh, let me just give you an example. Right now we had a, a, a promotional event in IIT Mumbai where we did a mini tournament amongst the students and we picked the top four guys and one girl. And we offered them 10,000 rupees to beat our female champion. One of our female cha- champions, like I said, Chetna Sharma from Guwahati, we flew her down, gave, you know, they, they had played in so the top four guys and big hatte katte guys. You know, so we gave them the opportunity. They weren't able to beat her. You know, so it's not, even though they're stronger than her, you can see they're stronger than her. But it's not just a strength game. It's technical. It's thinking. It's reflexes. There's a lot of things involved in it. So how many sort of competitions have you had? I mean, you started this off in roughly which year? And how many competitions oh, have you had till now? Uh, this was uh, Feb 29th, uh, 2020. Hmm. Just three weeks before the first lockdown. Hmm. You can say fortunately or unfortunately. So we hmm. were fortunate that Mr. Kiran Rijijuji at that time, the sports minister and Vijinder Singh, uh, they both came to inaugurate it. And it was a very big event at the Agraj in uh, Delhi. Uh, after that, as we all know, the lockdown happened. So we had to take a pause. We did come back in between the, uh, the first and the second lockdown. We had a huge event in Mumbai. Uh, at the Radio Club Pier in front of the Gateway of India. Then we did another event on top of a casino boat in Goa, which is again in association with uh, uh, Vijender Singh. A huge event it was on top of a casino boat. And then again, the second lockdown happened. So again, we had to take a small break. So then we had our last event, which was in December uh, 2021, which was uh, uh, at the Sheru Classic in uh, Bombay which is a huge fitness festival. So <laughs> now we are looking at starting. Now what we feel is we've been doing these e- e- events, which we have been looking at as uh, concept events to show the people, you know, what the ideas and everything. And now uh, all our stakeholders are starting to join us. And our first full-fledged season is going to start uh, this year now. So we already have an event planned in, in June, which is the Sheru Classic. And then our ranking tournament in which a thousand players have registered from across India. You know, a thousand players have registered is going to be taking place in the month of uh, July. So, uh, uh, and three months from there, we'll be having our league that we'll have six teams in the first year, first two years, and then we'll be growing from there. So like a live telecast or something? Uh, yes, we're in talks with a broadcaster, final talks with uh, somebody. So it will be live broadcast. Who's our Goa event was also broadcast on Sony Sports. It wasn't live, but it came afterwards. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And... Uh, what is like the youngest and the oldest player? Uh, the youngest uh, uh, were 17, 18 in our first events. But now people as young as 15 have registered for the ranking tournament. Okay. And the and oldest, my- I think, would, would be 50, 55, 60 maybe. Okay. Okay. And my final question is, what are, I mean, if someone wants to register, someone who's seeing this video, okay, wants to register yes. for Pro Panja League. How does he sort of register uh, or he or she register? I mean, according to there's any age limit, upper, lower, whatever. Uh, there's no age limit. We do have weight categories and it was mainly for, see, we didn't put it out in the public because we were mainly, we had a tie up with the federation, uh, the official federation, which is the Indian Arm Wrestling Federation. So a lot of it was done uh, through them and through the state associations and also through our social media. So every pro- arm wrestler in India knew about it. So, uh, uh, you, you know, most of the arm wrestlers, everybody knew about it. Everybody has registered. But yes, if you want to st- still look into it, then propanja.com, you can come on, on there and check it out. Got it. Got it. Okay. So for anybody who's listening to this, who's <clears throat> interested to getting into arm wrestling, into the Pro Panja League, that's how you do it. Um, we'll, we'll be putting out this interview so- uh, soon. Thank you so much, uh, Praveen, for talking to us. I mean, you're definitely one guy who I will not be shaking hands with, but uh, till next time. Uh, it's not me you have to be afraid of. <laughs> I'm not the one on the table, but the other guys, let me tell you, forget about the guys. That's all I want to say. And then there's always, there's Namaste or Sasrikal. So yeah, uh, I can I have to go with that.
but uh, thanks yeah. a lot for talking to us and all the best for the future thank you so much take care